That is a whole lot of goodness in there, ladies and gents. guys welcome back to another fish friday we are finally going to reveal all the coral that i bought at aquashella orlando aquashella happened only a couple days after the catastrophic event that happened in my tank so although i got all these corals i haven't been able to put them in here i mean i guess i could have if i wanted to but things were a little hairy so i decided it was best if i just had a babysitter watch them for a while and that babysitter was jason i, I just think we should be okay now I mean, as, as good as it's gonna be, and we're just going to send it and hope for the best. So, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Without further ado, let's go pick up our corals from the babysitter. I guess it's called a coral sitter, not a babysitter. Sorry, Jason. I gotta say, I am pretty excited to pick up these corals. I've just been waiting, and I've kind of been visiting them, you know, like just checking in and make sure they're, make sure they're doing okay and they're being taken care of, you know? But, uh, Everything has looked fine, it's just I haven't gotten them yet, so I already have kind of ideas of where I want to place stuff, and I'm super excited about it. Hi. Coral sitter, hi. Hey, hey. Come on in. So how has coral uh, coral sitting duty been? Have you been taking good care of my, my corals? They've been eating well. They've been eating well. You've been feeding them? Well, I dose uh, the Red Sea A and B plus. Oh yeah? So they've been growing in here then. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna be the Oprah of coral giving. Are you ready? As payment for taking care of my beautiful corals, you get a frag, you get a frag, you get a frag of every piece. But just like the leftover plugs because you know, I, it is my frag, but. Well, how nice of you. I forgot about these. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys these in my tank. Piece number one. I don't know how you're gonna frag this one. This one's a little baby, but we could try. No, I'm not gonna there's a copy part on there though. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, anybody want to plug? Anybody want to buy uh, some mohawks? I think Jason's got a bunch of them. I just picked good, them off. Good deal. Oh, yeah, that one looks great. Everybody's lined up, ready for trimming. That's my little baby right there. Oh, there's a little copy pot in there. There she goes. Look at the size of the copy pot on this frag. He's bigger almost than the frag. Whoa, he's fast. We are loaded up. Let's get you home, buddies! All right, let's get all these guys floating. Woo! That is a whole lot of goodness in there, ladies and gents. All right, so we have made it back. All of the corals are floating and temp acclimating. I would usually, uh, I would usually dip them, However, they've been at Jason's and we dipped them before we put them in his tank. I'm just going to uh, bet on the fact that they don't have anything and just cross my fingers because I don't really want to aggravate them twice. I do want to tempt them for quite a while because his water is significantly colder than mine. And uh, yeah, I just don't want to shock them too bad. But in the meantime, this is what we're looking like after the traumatic incident. Uh, the clownfish are still, well, of course, they went, a, they went away now, but they are still loving this. At first, I thought they were aggravating a little bit because I've recently seen right about there missing, but we think somebody might have been a little hungry and mistaken it for food. So far, everything else has been fine, and the Duncans really haven't been showing any form of stress. They're fluffy, they're long tentacled, and look at them. The clownfish, I think, have gotten so smart that they realize if they just lay on top of the bed of Duncans, they no longer have to swim. So I'll literally come out here and catch the big girl just hanging out on top of the Duncans, not moving a fin or nothing, and just chilling. Like, look at her right now. She just hangs out in there. I don't understand it, it's crazy, but she loves it. I did have a little bit of issues with my rock structure, getting it back and forth, and then I finally like, had to come back in again and lift up this rock a little bit to get some more light to those mushrooms back there, which in turn caused havoc with my grafted mom tea, and the frag will not go back into like, there's a little hole right there that the frag plug dropped into. It was actually on a rock, 
and then it formed perfectly around the rock. I guess it didn't go back exactly how it was, so now it won't. And I broke off a bunch of Monty's like all over the place as I was trying to get this rock structure back together. Literally a disaster. But I think I'm gonna do something fun with the Grafted Monty, so make sure to stay tuned for that and hit that subscribe button so you guys are here for it. On the other hand, the Superman that I had right here did start receding a little bit. I'm thinking maybe a little piece of the Nem got onto it, so I ended up popping it off and fragging it into two to try to save it. It's kind of hanging on, not sure if it's gonna make it. That's kind of like a recent thing that happened, so. I don't know, we'll see. My Ghani has continued to, it actually shrunk a little bit right now, but it has continued to stay open and get open every single day. So really happy about that. These Blastos also showed no sign of slowing down. They are just reproducing heads like crazy. Some other really great news is that this is the rock that was out of the water for a long, long time. The bubblegum Digi didn't completely die. It's still hanging on there. You still see the orange little polyps. I mean, granted, a lot of it is dead, but a lot of it was dead before anyways. And then the most exciting part is that with the season's greeting, as you can see, it pretty much looks completely toasted. There is actually some green that has survived. If you look on top of the frag plug over there, there's like a crevice and all in that crevice, the green has been starting to come back as well as on top of it over here. I think that might have been somewhere where the NEM wasn't able to reach and it just barely hung on and now it has a second to breathe and it is coming back. I'm not sure if it's gonna grow back over its same skeleton. Kinda tried to pop it off but it was literally making a mess so I figured I would just leave it and see what happens. I've had these guys up here for a while now so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just glue those down so that way I free up some space for the new frags. And that way, by the time I'm done with that, we should be able to go ahead and place them in the tank. Whoop, whoop. No, boom, pretty little orange watermelon boopity boop there. Space Invader chalice back there and got the uh, little spacey cadet thing there. I think we're ready to start putting these corals in the tank. That's a beautiful sight, huh? Look at all those. Sheesh. First up. First up, we have a bunch of fucking caca poo poo in there. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Hermit. You know the deal. Let's drop these lights into blue real quick and really see what these corals are about. Ooh, that Space Invader Chalice looks nice back there. Right down here, we have the Rainbow Trolls. It actually has about four polyps on there. There's another one on the back side. Shout out to Coral Kingdom. These are one of the frags they hooked me up with and they are super sweet. I think I'm gonna leave them on the plug so that way they can kind of grow out and fill out the whole thing really nice. I'm just not really sure where I'm gonna put them yet. So right in the front of the tank looks good for me. Here we have all the rest of the corals that I got at Aquashella. First up, we have the piece that I was going for the entire time. We have this guy right here, which is the Blue Earth Cyphastria. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It does look like it's getting one little dead spot in the center. I gotta keep an eye on that, see if I gotta break it off or I don't know, do something to it. Tropic Thunder Montipoa right there. That thing looks really sick in person. It's looking a little pale right now but I am confident that once it settles in and likes its spot, it's going to blossom. Right over here, we have the Fruity Pebbles Montipora. He's got green, blue, orange, yellow. It's a really sick piece. I'm, I gotta find a good spot for him to like encrust and just look amazing. This guy right here in the front is a C3PO le uh, Lepto, I don't know what he said. C3PO, I don't know what it is, it, it grows encrusting as well as orange with like some yellow eyes. It is tiny, but it is cool. So hopefully it's a quick grower and we'll get a little bit more of what he looks like as a colony pretty soon. Here in this corner, we have a Favites. He said it was a Jason Fox. He couldn't remember exactly the name. It's super cool and unique, I think. It's red with teal eyes in the center. It's not like anything I have in my tank. Zoas haven't opened up yet here, but they are rainbow hornets, also courtesy of Coral Kingdom. Thanks so much, guys. The final piece is right here, this Jingle Bells. It kind of looks like green with pink centers, but I mean, it looks like it now, but it's green with orange. I guess it just depends on the lighting that it gets put into. That is the run through on all of the pieces that I picked up at Aquashella this year. I tried to get pieces that aren't like what I already have. A lot of times when you're kind of in the same price range, the colors and stuff like that, all sort of resemble each other. Like, yes, the pieces are different, they grow different, but 
you got your basics like red, green, orange. So I tried to get things that were a little bit more unique that would spice up my tank a little bit and not make everything look the same. I don't know. I mean, I think I succeeded. I, I think I got pieces that are much differenter, different, differenter, differenter. I don't think that's a word, but I think I got pieces that are different than what I currently have in the tank, even though some of them still have those greens and oranges. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Be on the lookout because Tuesday there might be something, something exciting happening. So turn those notifications on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tips on where to place some of the corals that I got, make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. As always, I'll keep you guys posted on the growth and how things are doing. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later.